Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to have a go at modelling a Coke bottle, Life as He Drinks bottle. So first thing we need to do is insert a, a reference image. So I want to have that on a particular plane, so at the minute I'm just in perspective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down spacebar, then click in the middle, and then I'm going to go to front. I'm going to jump 2D to my front plane. I'm going to view, image plane, I'm going to go to import image, and then on my desktop I have got one called Coke bottle canvas. I'm just going to jump in like that. Now I'm just going to hit R on my keyboard for scale, or down on the left hand side down here, scale tool, and I'm going to just drag and make it bigger like that. Then if I hit space bar, go to perspective again, see I've brought my canvas in. I'm going to grab it, press W to move it, and just move it back out of the way a little bit. Okay, so like with the Lego brick, the thing with my really is to always find a shape that's sort of a similar sort of thing that you're going to go towards. So in this instance, we're going to go with a cylinder. So remember, to get your cylinder, you can either go to the polymodeling shelf up here and go to cylinder. You can either go to create and then polygon primitive and cylinder, or the faster way is hold down spacebar, go to create, and then go to cylinder. Okay, so I'm going to jump into my front plane. Okay, so what we're going to do is take this, hit R to scale it, and just make it about as fat as that piece, like that. Now, obviously, I can't see through that, so what we can do is on this top here, we have got smooth shaded all, wireframe. Okay, so you can jump between those, so you can go wireframe, shaded, and then these ones here will let you um, add materials on there as well. But for now, we're gonna go on uh, wireframe. I'm going to right click, go to vertex, hit W to move and just drag up to about there, same at the bottom, drag to about there. So this is how we're going to start to make up our shape. So what we're going to do is go to the poly modeling tool kit on the right hand side and I grab that multi cut. Now multi cut is where we're going to add some sort of lines in so we can start to make our shape. If I hold, if I click like that, I can hit enter. I've cut a shape in it, so if I get back onto um, shaded, you can see I've got a cut in there now. That's not where I want it. If I, so if I click, and then if I hold down, if I click and then hold down shift, it'll snap into place so it's going to be straight, which again is good, and again hit enter. But I want it to be in sort of specific particular places. So if I hold down over the object, hold down shift, uh, control rather, it will lock onto the shape. So again, I can just click anywhere. But what I actually want to do, in this instance, I'm going to hold down control, but if I middle mouse button, click, it jumps to the middle. And if I do it on this side, jump to the middle again. So essentially all I'm going to do is just add in some extra edge loops. So that I could, the more I've got, the more I can tailor the shape to what I need. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the, the scale tool, so that's R. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to start grabbing edges and sort of dragging them in. So I'm going to double click on this edge. Oh, first of all, I'm going to right click, go to edge mode. Double click and just grab that in and start to take the shape that I want. Now, if it, I can always add in more edge loops later if I find I need them. So here, for example, I feel like I just need another one just because of the kind of curve, I don't think I had enough there. So basically, the more of a curve it is, the more edge loops. So again, here, we are gonna need another one because the curve continues a bit more. So I'm gonna control, middle mouse button, go back to R. And where I'm doing that quite quickly, so all I'm doing then literally was I went to a multi-cut tool, I controlled, middle mouse clicked to add it, and then I just pressed R on my keyboard again to jump back to, my scale tool, and all I'm doing now is just double clicking on the edge to select it. And all I'm trying to do is match up, and again, I'm probably going to add another one in here as well. So, literally, multi cut, control, middle mouse button, go back to R to scale, zoom in a little bit. And because it's symmetrical, it's quite a bottle's quite a good easy one. If you've watched any of the other videos that I've done, obviously, I've done this infusion as well um it's quite a good shape because it's not massively complex but there's a few little skills to show you in there as well again i'm gonna add a couple more 
in here, I think. Let's double click. Once you get used to the keyboard shortcuts of things, you will find your workflow um, speeds up quite a lot. Now I'm just going to right click, go to vertices and just drag this down a little bit. So I press W to just to come down. Okay, and then let's right click, go edge, double click the whole edge, drag it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to move. R to scale. Okay, and then let's come in there. I think probably actually one more. And then if I hit three, yeah, okay. So that area up there I'm happy with. One more in there here, not so much. Okay, let's continue. So we've got R for scale. Drag it out. Slowly working our way up. Once I've reached the top up here, I'll show you what we've actually done. Because sometimes once you're doing this, you get so into it, you forget. You can't really see the big picture of what you've actually done to the shape. Okay, now we're going to need some more here as well. So again, I'm just going to control, middle mouse click. If you do too many edges as well, you can, okay, I need another one in there as well. You can delete them. So say for example, I double click that and now I press control backspace, I can remove that as well. So yeah, don't worry if you do too many, because you can always undo. And if in doubt, control Z, the most used keyboard shortcut in my, or in, in modeling in general. Okay, I'm gonna add a couple more here, I feel. Okay. And keep going. Oh. Okay, because that's quite a simple shape. Well, quite a, a not a hard curve. We don't really need to add any more there. Well, here we probably do. So that's R to scale. Okay, so let's just turn off wireframe. Go to perspective, and you can see with those we've managed to get that overall shape. If I hit three on my keyboard, which is the smooth preview, you can see it starts to look very bottle like. I'm going to press one to undo that. So remember, one is normal. Two will do smooth shaded, but it will keep an overall box of like so you can see it's got the box here of where the vertices actually are, and then three will just do smooth preview completely. I'm going to right click, go to face, I'm just going to hold down tab and then paint select these. I'm going to press control backspace to delete that. The reason you press control backspace is because that will delete any vertices associated with those faces that you've deleted. If you press delete sometimes um, on a face and not do control delete, and there'll still be some vertices or edges there, and then later on you won't realise it and it'll cause you some issues. So it's just a good habit, if you want, you want to remove something, just um, control backspace. Okay, I think... Probably can add a few more here, just because it looks a little bit too, like, straight. It doesn't look quite right. How's that looking now? That looks better. Okay. So we are going to go to W for move, oh, edge, let's grab the edge, and we are going to come up. Okay, I'm going to go control E to extrude. And then I'm going to come on to effect so you can see what I'm doing. Now if I go on thickness, you see it can start coming in and out, like that. So what I want to do is go to front and figure out how far I want it to be, which is about there. Then I'm going to press W. Uh, what I can do as well, rather than going Control E to extrude, if I hold Shift, 
and move it up. I've done an extrude as well. And then I'm going to come down a little bit. I'm going to go control E again. And I'm going to do thickness will come in. Go front and I'm going to bring it up to where it needs to be. A little bit more inwards, I feel. So R to scale. Like that. And then last little bit, W, shift, because I'm going to do a quick extrude. I'm going to drag up to about there. Okay, so let's go to object mode. Or you can see I've got an extra edge here, which I don't need. Let's click this edge, control backspace to delete. Okay, so object. So at the minute, as you hear, what I've got is I've got wireframe unshaded. I can take that off at any point. So I'm then going to hit three on my keyboard to see how it's looking. Quite good bottle shape overall. I need to add some supporting lines to here a little bit. So I'm going to go to one. And what I'm going to do, right click, go to edge. Double click this edge. In fact, let's do them all at the same time. Double click edge. And I'm going to go on control B for bevel. Go to two segments. Let's bring that in a little bit. Hit three. And the whole point of doing that is so that it keeps its sharpness a little bit. Like that. Okay, so next let's have a look at doing those little like indent sort of things that you see in bottles. So we're gonna go to front view again and it probably comes up. We're gonna go to edge and let's go to about there. And use it as a rough guide. So if I click there and then I'm going to hold shift, double click. It's going to go to that. If I just double click, it'll select the whole edge, which isn't what I want in this instance. So I'm going to click where I want it to start. And now it's in there. Wrong one. Double click. Okay. Double click. Because I clicked on the wrong row to begin with, it was trying to select it in the other direction, which is me being an idiot. And click there and we want to be there double click see see that's how it worked but I think I'm far enough and then last one click and let's do double click there we go so all I'm going to do now is hit R for scale and I'll drag it in a little bit and then if I right click object to come out and wrap them up. You see I'm starting to get that little indent of what you'd normally get on your Coke bottle. So I'd say that's pretty much done. So then let's control E. Let's extrude just a little bit. And then What I'm going to do is go to add some, some more, more supporting edges here a second. So I'm going to double click edge on this edge. Control B for bevel. Two segments. Bring it in. Object. Hit three. Oh, and that's the overall shape. I'm happy with that. So what we're going to do is go to mesh and smooth. So next, what we're going to do is our thread. So again, what we're doing is so we're going to do that a separate piece. We actually go by hold down spacebar, go to create, go to polygon primitive, and what we've got is helix. So I'm going to drag that. Now at the minute you can't see it because it's appeared in my shape there. So I'm going to hit W, bring it up. Okay. So if I hit T, I can get my properties up here. So I can add how many coils I want. I can change the height. Uh, for now, I'm going to change width. Let's play with the height a bit. And the radius. This is a little bit of trial and error of trying to 
get it to look about right. And a few more coils. How's that looking? And so we've got that pretty good. So you come up now, it looks like we've got our thread. What I will just do is I'm going to just select it, press Control 1 to isolate it. And if I click on it, we don't need all of the things. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click a face, double click that edge. Control backspace, double click that, that face that way. And that just removes that face, and then we want to sort of close this up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to vertex. Let's grab these ones, and then we're going to shift, right click, merge vertices, merge to center. So, that closes that up. And then let's do the same at the bottom here. So we have got vertices, so we're going to select them, right click, or shift right click, merge vertices, merge the center. And then if I press Control 1 to unisolate, and then if I grab that vertices, W. I can just move that so it looks more like it's where it should be. Okay. Thread done. So then what we're going to do is let's sort out our label. So where about should our label be? Okay, so going to go to right click, get a face, and let's select those faces. And then what we're going to do is right click, shift right click, sorry, I'm going to go to duplicate faces. And at the minute it doesn't look like we've done anything, but if you go over here to the cylinder, we've got our bottle, and then we have got our label. I'm going to control E to extrude it, bring it out a little bit. So we've got our label, and I'm just going to label this. If I double click, I'm going to call that bottle body. Let's call this bottle label. And then let's just isolate that for one second. Edge, and same thing as before. There we go. Double click, edge. Ooh. Okay, hang on one second. There we go. Don't click. And all we're going to do is just a little bevel. Draw B. Two segments. Drag that in to be nice and tight. Hit three. So now I've got our label, so let's just smooth that as well. So go to mesh and smooth. So we've got our bottle body, label, and thread. So all we'll left to do is to do our lid. So let's come to the front view. We're going to grab another cylinder. I'm going to bring it up. Let's go to wireframe. Let's go to scale. So now I can get the right thickness. Bring it down into position. Then we are going to grab vertex, vertices, bring it down. And then let's object, let's grab this and our plane, control one, so we're just isolating it.
Okay, so let's have a look at playing around with that shape a little bit. So let's add some multi cut and some edges. Let's bevel that a little bit, add a couple of segments. In fact, we probably don't need those edges. Let's get rid of those. Let's Let's bring that in just a bit. How's that look? Okay. Now let's grab Okay, so let's go to faces, let's grab one. We'll go around, grab every other four of three. I'm going to go to Control E, and we're going to do the thickness as negative. So I'm going to bring it in. See if we start to get the shape that we want. Okay, clearly I grabbed a face I didn't want to. Yeah, that's why it's always good to do Control Z to undo because now you have a face you didn't mean to grab, and then you start to extrude, and it starts to look a bit funky. Okay, then let's grab these faces. We don't need them. Right, before we do that, let's, let's do it this way. Why, why are you still there? Okay, let's redo that slightly. So let's delete, let's bring a new one in. At the front, bring it up. R to scale. Vertex, bring it down. Okay, and now let's isolate. And before we do anything, let's delete our spaces so we don't have the same problem. There we go, that's better. Let's go to edge and let's bevel that edge a bit. Bring that so it's not quite as extreme. Add a few segments. And then let's add some edge loops, and then like we did before, let's grab three, and then skip around, grab another three, we'll do that as we go all the way around, okay, Let's check if I've not got anything else I shouldn't have grabbed. Control E, come in a bit. Three, there we go. So I've got rid of that error bit that I had. That's it, one. And then last little bit to sort out for this bit, I feel, is we need to have, let's do an edge loop there. I'll right click, go to edge, double click it. Control B, so I've got two of them, so I've beveled that. Bring the fraction in, and then what I'm going to do is get a face, 
click, double click, drop E, and then bring that in as well. And it'll come out, it done. So then all I'm going to do is let's drop E to extrude it, but I'm going to come in instead of out. And the object now is completely black. And so what we need to do is we're going to click on it and go to mesh display and go to normal and go to reverse. And I'll get rid of that, and then we've now got our 3D lid. So let's go to mesh and smooth. And then we can remove our reference now, we don't need it. Okay, and we can make this a bit bigger now so we know it's going to fit. And then let's Come and bring that down here. Need to rotate J, bring it around. Let's grab everything. Let's drag it up a bit. So it is now sitting on there. And the last little thing we're going to do is to add a thread for our lid as well. So let's go to, oh no, wrong thing. Let's go to create plugin primitive and let's go to helix. Hit T. Let's first of all make sure it's in the center. T, let's go to width, make it bigger, make the radius, and then let's increase the height a bit. Okay. And then what we can do, like we did before, because there's no sense spending, because that's not going to get seen a lot. So let's right click, go to faces, let's click, double click, and delete, and same, that one, delete. Like we did the first one, go to vertex. Okay, so if we come up, we have now got our bottle. What's going on here? You overlap things up. Oh. I deleted the wrong faces. We don't want, oh. we don't delete those ones. We want to delete. The outside ones because obviously it's going to be on the inside now. So, my mistake, let's go to vertex, nose vertex, there we go. Okay, so we have now got our bottle, 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 bottle lid, let's call that bottle thread and then lid thread and then what is this one cylinder so let's call that bottle lid so that is the end of modeling the bottle in the next video we'll unwrap it and then we'll do one where we texture it in substance painter as well hopefully you found that useful any questions just email me at design with simon at outlook.com